This is the Cocoon Create, a 3D printer I reviewed last year, but it's a little bit special because of what it represented. This 3D printer was sold not online, but by a supermarket. That's right, Aldi in Australia stocked and sold this 3D printer in their stores nationwide for a single day as part of their special weekend deals. Anyway, that was last year. Move forward to 2017. Looks like Audi's doing it all over again. Welcome back to Makers Muse, guys. So as I said, the Cocoon Create was sold in Aldi supermarkets around Australia last year for 500 Australian dollars. At the time, it was the best deal you could get of a machine of this caliber. And as I explained in that review, this is not just a no-name, complete crap 3D printer that Aldi just put together. This is actually a rebrand of a machine known as the Wanhao i3 version 2. So this machine was retailing in a supermarket for less than you could buy it online. So as you could probably tell, it was pretty popular. People were lining up outside the store before it even opened and they sold out pretty much instantaneously. So it looks like the company behind it, Win Plus, are looking to recreate the same deal in 2017 with another 3D printer called the Cocoon Create Touch. So a lot of you have been asking me about this 3D printer and what I think about it and if I'm going to review it. Well, I already have. The machine that's actually in the catalog is the Wanhao i3 Plus, which I reviewed last year, late last year. And that machine is a iteration and an evolution of the original Wanhao i3. It's still got the sheet metal chassis, which I love, but doesn't have this external stupid control case. It's all built into one and has a full size SD card instead of a micro SD card. A little bit more durable. But what about print quality? Well, the Cocoon Create has surprised me. I have printed many, many projects on this 3D printer. These are just a few that I grabbed in my near vicinity. A lot of the others are back in storage under my parents' uh, house. But like, you know, these vases, for example, printed on this machine. And every time I want to print something a little bit experimental, I'll go to this machine because I've actually hopped it up a huge amount since I got it. You notice it's got a different print surface. This is a print bite print surface and it has a modified extruder. This is the Flexion extruder for printing flexible materials. And I've really been enjoying my use of this machine. So it's not going to be as accurate or as easy to use as the, for example, Prusa i3 Mark II. The bed leveling on the i3 Plus is still assisted, but still manual. Uh, it still has the same specs, 200 by 200 by 109, 180 rather millimeter build volume, and it's still an open frame with a heated bed, so you're more than likely only going to be printing PLA or maybe PETG, and it has the same design extruder as the original, which is the Mark 10 style with the PTFE lining, so you can't push it too high in temperatures, but it's going to be a really reliable machine. The one I have is pretty good, but it's also worth keeping in mind that the i3 Plus did have a bit of a rocky start. My one had a few noise issues and Chuck Hellebuck during the unboxing and first test of his i3 Plus, i3 Plus, it actually uh, smoked up and sparked. <laughs> um, and they did a big sort of recall because there was no fiber washers installed underneath the heat bed pads where they could uh, erode into the circuit track of the heat bed. But if you look really carefully in the Aldi catalog, you can see the fiber washers are in the picture. So I can guarantee to you that the Aldi machine will be the latest version, not an old crappy version that's gonna catch fire. You're probably gonna be pretty safe with it. And as I said, I'm still enjoying using this machine. I have various other upgrades I intend to do it. Like this is the, this is the newest version of the high temperature Flexion, for example, which is incredibly high detailed. It's like a hop up part for a remote control car. Um, so you can print in higher temperatures. And I got this sent to me as well, which is a reinforced, pull it out here. There we go. It's a compressed fiber reinforced print bed uh, support. So this is gonna be a lot lighter and a lot stiffer than the aluminum print bed on this. So the thing about the Wanhao i3 series that I've noticed and the reason it's got such a big uh, following and fan base nationwide, worldwide, is because they, they work out of the box but then you can improve them. So to reiterate guys, Aldi is going to be selling a 3D printer. It is the Wanhao i3 Plus rebranded to the Cocoon Create Touch. It's gonna to be sold for 500 Australian dollars or 499 
Australian dollars, and it is an Australian only deal. I'm sorry for you guys overseas, but this is one, this one is just for the Aussies. So if you missed out last time and you're still looking to get a 3D printer, this will be the best deal you can get in Australia right now. If you bought this machine from overseas, you're gonna be buying it for about 650 Australian, and there's resellers in Australia, poor bastards, trying to sell this machine for about $750 Australian. So Aldi's gonna sell it for $499, and they're bringing their filament back in. This is Cocoon Create Filament, uh, which is uh, $35 a kilo. Again, pretty good deal for walk into a shop and buy filament kind of prices. And the date they're selling it is gonna be Saturday the 13th of May. So that's in the, their catalog, and it's gonna be pretty much sold out in the first day if it's gonna be anything like the previous, uh, previous deal, but, Again, not sure how it's gonna pan out. Not sure if they're gonna be in your area. They, they allocate different ones to different Aldi stores. The one I went to in Bondi Junction last year only had three or four machines, whereas some had 10, some had one, two. It's really potluck. So uh, if you wanna get a 3D printer and you wanna get something that's good at a low price, I would not walk past this machine. But full disclosure, guys, I'm not affiliated with any of the companies mentioned. I'm just one guy running a YouTube channel. This is my information and knowledge passing on to you guys to let you make an informed decision. And whether you buy it or not, I don't really care. But if you're looking to get into 3D printing, it's a pretty darn good deal. And I thought I'd do my part to share it with you, uh, value subscribers, so you get a chance to get a 3D printer if you've been sitting on the fence or can't afford the budget for a good machine. If you enjoyed this video on Make This Muse, guys, want to see future 3D printing tips, tricks, reviews, news, updates, whatever, in the wonderful world of 3D printing, hit that subscribe button. I look forward to seeing you again very shortly. Happy printing, guys. Bye. He has placed satellites into water. He is actually...